Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at another footies hero. We have, we have done a couple of footies hero uh, player reviews in the past. Now, this is going to be another SBC review, which is going to be for Tim Cahill, a 97 rated striker hero card, a footies hero card. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. In this video, we're going to be looking at his stats, his attributes, his uh, player bio, his playstyle, his playstyle pluses and how he is gonna be in game whether the stats on the card are equal in game as well whether he's good whether he's bad or whether he's just is just on par so yeah without any further ado let's look at his weak foot and skill move which is five star five star which is really really insane for a 97 red striker guys now i know many of you guys have seen this player already some of you guys might have already completed this player this this player for a 97 rated striker you have to complete only two squad build guys an 86 rated squad build and an 88 rated squad build so for the 88 rated squad build you need a premier league player and an 88 rated squad for the 86 you need an 86 rated squad and an inform or team of the season player in that's it you'll get a 97 rated striker which five star five star who has a power header uh, he also has he also has aerial he has power header plus and he has aerial the normal one and he has acrobat plus he has relentless he this this guy is insane i don't know how a 97 rated striker card has been released for so cheap 86 and an 88 rated spot is dead cheap guys with power header plus and aerial and he has anticipate plus he has power shot plus finish shot chip shot he has power shot plus he has finish shot he has power header plus and he has aerial with 98 shooting this card is unreal guys this card is unreal just off the just looking at this card like this just you know not putting him in game just looking at his stats on screen this card looks insane 94 pace 98 shooting 99 physical 88 defending 93 dribbling and 90 passing if this guy has a center back position after doing the adama Traore player review if i see him also at center back position i'm just gonna cry okay thank god he can be played at striker center forward center mid and cam as well so these are these are good stats for a cam or a center mid or just just generalize it for a center for a midfielder card you get insane stats you get 98 shooting you get 93 dribbling you get 88 defense you get 88 defense let's look at the defensive stats 99 heading accuracy 88 stand tackle 88 slide tackle 84 interceptions now we swear my view changes 88 defending looks really good but that comes because of his 99 heading accuracy but other than that his stats for defending is pretty low it's pretty low but just we will put him in the squad and you guys will change those 80s going into 90s that is what i like that is what i like now let us go into depth with this whole stats thing 99 physical everything is 99 and under dribbling he has 99 reaction 96 ball control which will be going to 99 ball control once we add him to the squad and dribbling is at 91 which will go up to 95 and then acceleration under pace he has 93 acceleration a bit low but i feel like 93 is not a bad place to start and then 95 sprint speed which will go which should be going to 99 if he gets plus four otherwise 98 or something like that so yeah actually pretty good stats for pace and dribbling so far so good physical is just gonna be insane shooting is insane 99 finishing 99 short par 99 volleys he has 99 uh, 98 attacking position he has 95 long shot this card i might actually use him as my secondary striker i'm not gonna lie i might have to use him as my secondary striker in my main squad at this so but we'll we'll see how he is going to be in game whether this is 98 shooting 93 dribbling stats 94 pace whether it's actually at 94 98 and 93 or if it's below that in game or if it's actually true and whether it's actually good to use him in game as well we'll be testing him out in game so make sure you guys watch till the end because we do that in every single player uh, player review videos so make sure you guys stick till the end and make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button as well it helps out a lot and everybody who has subscribed in the past i really appreciate it i have been replying to the people who have been uh, commenting on the videos and 
everybody who subscribe i really really appreciate it we are so close to 400 guys it'll be insane if we can hit 400 by the end of september it will be amazing so yeah now looking at his passing stats now curve is only 86 which is a bit concerning but you know what he has finished shot so even though it's only 86 curve it shouldn't matter because of his finish shot play style and he has 99 shot pass as well so i mean passing stats are pretty decent enough for a center midfielder of cam but i feel like most of you guys will be using him and abusing his shooting and pace and dribbling at striker position i don't know how many of you guys will use him at cam or at um center mid as, as well but yeah i think it's time i think it's time to go to the team and you know make a team out of him and then put him in this game and see how he's gonna be in game five star skill move five star wake foot right footed player i am happy with this i'm happy with this now let me just finish the sbc like i said you need to finish two squad builds one is the 88 i mean 86 rated with a torch or a team of the week in form and the second one is an 88 with the Premier League player. And easy, I've done this, I'll do this, and we'll put him in a squad and I'll meet you guys in game. Okay, guys, you guys can see, you guys can pause the screen for a minute and see where uh, Tim Cahill gets his uh, stat boost. He gets plus four in spin speed, goes to 99. He gets plus four in defensive awareness, sli uh, slide tackle, and stand tackle. He gets plus four in dribbling and plus three in ball control, plus four agility, plus four in long pass curve and vision plus four in penalties and plus one in attacking position so these are his you know stats after being boosted by the chemistry style which is basic and full chem so yeah i am going to be using him at striker right striker and i'll be testing him out i still i am just fresh off recording this video which you would have seen yesterday and now i am here recording this video and tomorrow's video is going to be player uh, pack opening the 85 times 10 so make sure you guys have subscribed you guys should be getting notifications whenever videos go live or whenever the video premieres i usually premiere the video so that you don't miss it out uh because usually when i premiere i feel like many people will get the notification no matter what so yeah make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel he has good acceleration guys even though it's a 93 acceleration he has pretty good acceleration i'm not gonna lie it's pretty decent enough uh, to the point where it doesn't seem like it's low it's actually surprising how sometimes on stat i mean on card it the stats are different and uh, i mean the stats say one thing but it feels different in game it's insane how many times this happens in this game see the the advantage of you having a bit low acceleration is the fact that your opponents will try to you know come and uh, slide tackle you or try to you know do some form of tackle or the other so that you can get a fall off of it it is also a really good thing and tim cahill so far his his acceleration doesn't seem low for me to the point where it feels like a hindrance it is really good i'm not gonna lie he has really good uh, pace and when it comes to the whole passing the short pass and stuff as well his short pass is really good enough uh, as a striker and when it comes to when you use him as a, a, a midfielder also i don't think uh, it'll be any less it, it's actually a pretty good stat for short pass now let us actually you know try to run with him a bit and see how his ball control is he has pretty good ball control and dribbling stats i'm not gonna lie like he's able to keep the ball to his feet pretty pretty reasonably well reasonably well and his sh shooting is also really good like the shot part is really good at certain places he feels he's, at certain places he feels slow guy you know while trying to turn himself to face the goal to start running but there are instances where he feels fast enough i would say like the pickup of sprint is pretty decent enough but at certain places to take the ball adjust and turn like let's say you're getting a ball from a dm or a center back at that time it feels like he takes his time his own time to you know stop the ball take the ball twist and turn and stuff but other than that it doesn't feel so bad he has really good stats he has really good shooting stats as well and in game as well it feels good oh, i don't know if it's worth complete 
like i am so confused this card feels good but also feels weird if you know what i mean i, I don't know <laughs> i'm trying to give you guys the honest and best review and it 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 feels like look at that shooting that is insane that is some insane power on a shooting and that's some good shooting as well it's unfortunate that it didn't go inside the top left corner or top right corner but that is actually good maybe i should try my left striker let me just switch him to left striker and see if i can do any better with him like i'm so oh my god this game is a this game is a joke you know what i might have to whack on a chemistry style just to you know like some something like um what is this called some some play style that improves his pace purely but will it just improve his sprint speed though that is one thing another that is another thing that i need to know but other than the whole scoring aspect guys i would say it's a pretty decent card the acceleration also is still you know it feels a bit weird in certain places like like for that place at the, like you see now it it, it felt pretty decent but before that at one point it look at this this place it felt like his acceleration was really good it's just a you know it's just a weird feeling but it's a good card it's a pretty cheap card for a 9700 striker make sure you guys let me know in the comment section i'm not going to tell you guys whether to complete this sbc or not make sure you get, i feel like those who have completed this ac ac sbc will let me know in the comment section and yeah make sure you guys go see a bunch of more reviews on him and if he's a good card make sure you get copy it. it's a pretty cheap uh, rated card uh, you just have to put an 86 and an 88 rated card for a squad to get him so yeah make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed and please do leave a comment whoever has finished this player let me know and let the other people who are watching this videos also know how the card is in game uh, at least according to you so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one pack opening coming out soon guys so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling bye bye